the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One are long past the point of being referred to as next-gen consoles, and have fully been established as current-gen for many years now. I also think that both systems are far enough into their lifespans at this point that we can expect to start seeing more and more speculation over the coming years about the true next generation of consoles. Because what's more fun than playing video games? Talking about ways to play video games. Seriously, all I ever want to talk about is just how underappreciated motion controls are and how, how I'd love to see them implemented again because that stuff is the future of gaming. I have two separate shrines dedicated to both the Xbox Connect and PlayStation Move. It's my passion, my religion, it was my favorite subject in middle school, and you know I aced those exams. People... people don't really want to hang out with me anymore. <clears throat> anyway, I'm old enough to remember when people were hyped as hell talking about what they thought we were going to get after the glorious piece of hardware that was the Xbox 360 and the only Blu-ray player that ever sold more than 10 units. Which doesn't make me very old, by the way. This was like six years ago. I'm six. Before Michael Wiener told everyone that they were just, you know, going back to their roots and stuff by subtracting 359 epic gamer score points from their Xbox 360, basically rendering the thing into the original Xbox, and it's, it, it's called the Xbox One. It's, it's just called the Xbox One. I'm sorry, these jokes did not work out. Yeah, so before they told us that, everyone was calling the thing the Xbox 720, and for some reason I think that's the stupidest name ever, even though I think the Xbox 360 sounds super dope. Speaking of microwaves naming process, I think it went something like this. So okay guys, people seem to really love our Xbox, but if we want to make the next one count, it needs to be like, much more epic. So I was thinking, what's better than one Xbox? That's right. 360 Xboxes, but we can just ship a single box and call it the Xbox 360 to cut costs and maybe they won't notice. And also circles! So yeah, the Xbox 720 would have been dumb, but enthusiasts seemed really into the name and came up with something even dumber. Console design concepts. To be honest, I don't know who exactly is responsible for these works of art, these utter masterpieces of design, but you bet your bottom that Every clickbaity article speculating about the next-gen consoles included this type of nonsense in the thumbnail. So, uh, you know what would be, like, so flippin' cool? What if the Xbox 720, get this, what if it looked like a ball? We could put a big-ass X on it and everything. Oh, how about it stand, you ask? Don't worry, guys, it'll have feet. Then it'll look like those suspicious electric massagers I used to see in Brookstone in 2006 that I'm still not convinced aren't vibrators for mom. Don't like that one? Okay, get a load of this. The Xbox 720, but with more Spider-Man. Or Venom, I don't know, make it black, that's cooler, I guess. All consoles would be way cooler if they looked like jetpacks. Or spaceships. Spaceships are cool, right? What if the Buster Baxter 720 had green liquid that was contained inside this glass dome, and it had lasers that shot out from the non-existent disk drive that incinerates unwelcome siblings who attempt to log onto your profile to mess with your avatar. Then there's this thing here. I have no words. This must have been made as some sort of joke. It's gotta be satire. Kevin Tan... Tan? Tan? I admire your talents in creating something so incredibly evil that this crappy joke must be made. Sauron would like to know your location. I know I'm just dumping on the Roblox 720 here, but PlayStation has been victim to this nonsense too. Apparently, the person who came up with this concept design for the PlayStation 4 thought it would be an asset towards the console design, no. That it was imperative that the thing include a built-in screen. Now now, there were times that this idea was kind of cool, if not a little bit poor in execution, like in the case of the GameCube, original Xbox, and the PS1. And get this, I actually remember an old friend of mine having the little screen that you could clip on to the PlayStation 2 and using it to watch the greatest Oscar winning film of 2005, Bionicle 3 Web of Shadows and Sweet Mother of Mata Nui or Mata Nui, whatever it's called, but somebody please remind me to talk about Bionicle sometime. But for the most part, those screens were awful. A screen for ants? So why the actual frick should someone envision one being built into the PS4? Just no. You know, I do think about the PlayStation 5 a lot. Sometimes I do so while doing a boatload of narcotics, and when I do that, I see this. The PS5, but like, floating around, all chill and futuristic and stuff. Like this orb that resembles the Apple of Eden from Assassin's Creed, 
but if that thing was actually interesting. Also, this controller is terrible. Why are the thumbsticks slash joysticks slash joy cons, whatever they're called, buried in their own little shallow graves? I imagine they'd function like that nipple on the new 3DS model thing that they made in 2013 or whatever. Just kind of has you going, why would they do it like this when they could have done it like this? I like to call this next one the Pain Station 5 for two reasons. One, I need to mess around with the names to keep it from getting repetitive like I did with the Xbox 720 thing. And two, this looks like honeycomb and I don't mean the delicious and nutritious cereal, totally not sponsored, I'm talking about the kind full of bees that will emerge and sting you every time you try to play some Give me a game that should totally be made in the future. A game from the future. Uh, Call of Duty Ghosts 2, what the hell. I'm not gonna lie, I sort of like the idea of incorporating black and white into the color scheme of a console design, but that honeycomb stuff is just plain awful. To wrap things up, consoles can sometimes look pretty cool. And sometimes not so cool. But I think the worst design is the ones that don't actually become a thing, on account of being just so, so awful and fit only for the purpose that they serve, as clickbaity thumbnails on videos like this one. I just want to end off by showing you my very own concept design for my brand new console. The Playbox X Station 420, a console so cool it has two names and the weed number. I hope you like it. Ugh. <laughs>